Thanks, Carmen. So uh, in this talk, I'm, I'm, I'm presenting you my uh, research progress on the data marine origin. Especially, I use geochronology chronology and mineral chemistry to evaluate the fertility of porphyry style mineralization in the data marine. The outline of my talk, so this uh, presentation has four parts. Firstly, I will briefly overview the future of uh, the alteration and mineralization feature of the data marine porphyry system followed by a bunch of uh, geochrome and uh, mineral chemistry data I have collect collected in the past year before I conclude this uh, talk. So uh, Stacy did excellent job on introduction to data marine origin, so I don't need to spend any time on this part. What I want to focus is uh, mineralization. So you can see from the a map on the left, there are many types of mineralization in the diamond origin, including the orogenic gold and uh, uh, volcanic host massive sulfur deposits, some you know, magmatic nickel deposits, and the common two deposits, and also a bunch of, uh, a bunch of porphyry, sorry, a bunch of porphyry uh, mineral occurrence in this orange, including the Alabama Hill, Blue Rose, Lateral Hill, uh, Bendigo, uh, White Horse, and Coal Badge. This porphyry bed also extends to North East to uh, locally cast in New South Wales and uh, continue to, uh, to uh, East South to the uh, South Gorsen in Victoria. So let's look at the alteration features of the porphyry, three porphyry prospects in uh, the data marine. The first one is the Alabama Hill prospect. So there are currently there are seven legacy drill holes finishing in, in 1970s. Those drill holes in, in, insected in a low degree uh, copper mineralization associated with ground diorite, diorite, porphyry, uh, dacite. And you can see, uh, according to the login, I have found some K feldspar alteration, porphyritic alteration, which, you know, overprinted by the intensive uh, cyberside pyrite molybdenite alteration. You can see from those uh, great photos. The second one is a uh, lateral hill prospect. Four drill holes, diamond drill holes, were finished in 2008. Those drill holes intersect, you know, low-grade uh, copper mineralization, you know, for 300 meters. And uh, very similar to the Alabama Hill, you know, you can see those K feldspar alteration and uh, some overprinted by very intensive and cross-cutting by later cyberside uh, sulfide cause alteration. And the uh, uh, last one is the uh, Bendigo prospect. Uh, uh, back to the earlier 19, 1970s, you know, three IP anomalies outline uh, three prospects followed by a seven diamond drill holes. Uh, similar to the other two prospect, those, you know, drill holes, uh, you know, uh, K feldspar alteration, uh, porphyritic alteration, and uh, phoenix alteration also found in the seven drill holes, and in some area close to the gran gran granite contact, you know, home phase, in laminated home phase also contain modular uh, disseminated modular line and the chalk chloride uh, in the coast wind. So just a quick summary. So. Uh, the porphyry, the porphyry prospect in the data marine has that, that do share some similarity to the world class porphyry deposit. First, those low grade mineralization associated with multiple uh, intrusive rocks, and uh, some classic, you know, alter, some typical alteration such as uh, potassium alteration, porphyritic alteration, and phoenix alteration also developed in the data marine porphyry system. The low grade, uh, the uh, sulfur mineralization 
in the Tamarind are also hosted by uh, coast winds, stroke rocks, and uh, um, branches in some place. And unfortunately, uh, during the, you know, maybe 50 years, the exploration in this area is not continued. Only a few, maybe just 20 drill holes available in this very large area. But some, some you know, very fundamental questions we don't know about the dynamic porphyry system. First is the time. We don't know, you know, what's age for the hydrosomal and, and mineralization in this area. And uh, secondly, we don't know, you know, those system is a large system or, or small system. So this is, uh, we call it a fertility questions. So uh, we separate, you know, zircons for uranium lead dating and uh, multiple lead for really awesome dating as well as, you know, uh, uh, rubutin, rubutin strontin dating on, on, on what mica. So we hope those techniques can, you know, date the magmatic uh, events, uh, hydrosomal and uh, mineralization in this porphyry mineral system. So let's look at the data. So first is uh, zircon ages. You can see uh, I actually date, you know, 12 intrusive rock from uh, four prospects. So the young, the, old, the oldest age is, uh, is about 495 million years from the Bendigo, and the youngest is 460 from the from Porphyry Dyke at Alamo Hill. And this is uh, a molecular age. So eight uh, rainy old age has, put, ha, has been, have been produced for this prospect. This age range from, uh, you know, for 80 million years to for 6 million years. And uh, this is age for uh, the, this, this is that are for the rubutin strontium ages. So the so white mother mica are actually associated with the, uh, associated with the uh, coarse winds, which contain, you know, some low grade chalcopyrite and modulinite. So 14 samples, polished blow rocks, has been analyzed by laser facility at Adelaide Microscopy. So you can see those age define a very broad range from, you know, for 70 million years for two, for three million years. I put all the age together. So the uranium, the real uranium lead zircon age, you know, you know, uh, show that, you know, those intrusive rocks associated with the self mineralization in place after the diamond origin, almost, you know, younger than, younger than for 85 million years, except, you know, some ages from the Bendigo prospect. And the rainy Osmin age shows, shows that there may be two copper mineralization at in the diamond origin. The younger one is around for 80 million years, and the, the, for the, the older one is about, you know, for 80 million years, and the younger one is, is about for 70 to for 6 million years. And based on the what mica uh, rubutin strontium dating, you know, those, you know, hydrosome alteration looks like lasts for a long time, you know, maybe especially they are younger than younger, about you know, 10 to 15 million years younger than the uh, sulfide mineralization. And alternatively, there is potential that those, you know, what my carupin strong age may imply there is a regional thermal upsetting in around for 15 million years to for 40 million years. So I follow John Fulton's model. So, uh, our age shows that, you know, this porphyry mineralization in the Dan Marine, you know, looks like belong to the post subduction system. And uh, they implant in the iron extension region. And, uh, you know, around after the, after the full 80 million years, the Dan Marine origin may come to some, some you know, uh, post subduction stage. The, some, you know, uh, some, the, this slab tier may uh, result in arsenal, uh, arsenal sulfuric upwelling and uh, denomination, 
which you know drive those mineralized magmas and flu travel along regional uh, force structure, and finally and localized in the uh, the shallow region of the crust. And if we compare the mineralization age from the Dadamarian to the Macquarie arc, we can see those uh, sulfur mineralization in the Dadamarian overlap with the earlier uh, mineralization in New South Wales, the, the gold rich porphyry in Cadia. Is there any uh, correlation? Maybe you know, this is open question we made. Yeah, so uh, in the past 10 years, you know, many, many you know, research, you know, put efforts to develop the mineral chemistry approach. And there's actually two groups of rocks we call. The first one is a magmatic and the hydrothermal minerals, which can be used to de distinguish porphyry style mineralization from the country rocks and the other ty types of mineralization including zircon, apatite, and, and magnetite. And the second group is, is alteration mineral chemistry, which can you know, provide Im important information regarding the vectoring and the fertility uh, for porphyry type mineralization, uh, including uh, apatite, chloride, and uh, anilite. So I'm going to show some results you know, from the Dynamarine uh, porphyry mineral system in terms of mineral capturing. So first one is uh, zircon. We separate zircons from four prospects, Adam Hill, Latley Hill, Bendigo, and the Coal Batch. So you can see uh, the trace elements uh, ratios, especially the serine anomaly and the European anomalies. Um, more than 80% of the data are plot into the fertile field, which indicate that you know, the, those intrusive rocks in the Dynamarine may have some, you know, great potential for porphyry style mineralization because, you know, porphyry, porphyry mineralization, you know, typical associated with magmas, which have high water content and uh, with, you know, high oxidation. Sorry. And, uh, and uh, taking Alabama Hill as case study, uh, you know, alteration mirrors such as chlora and epidote has been analyzed by laser facility for trace elements uh, determination. So arsenic and antimony in epidote and the manganese zinc in chloride are selected for, for tinted assessment. So uh, you can see uh, those stress elements in alteration minerals are very low compared to the typical large and giant porphyry deposits from, uh, from Chile, from US and uh, Philippines, Indonesia. But, but the, data cloud, the data cloud do overlap with some you know, the data from the bigger deposits. And this means we still uh, have some potential to find some great mineralization in this area. And, uh, and another, question, another issue is that if you look at the data, you know, the, the apital and the chloride data actually indicate the drill holes may vary, you know, proximal to the alteration and the mineralization center, I mean, the heat center of the in, in intrusive rocks. So to conclude this talk, so based on our geochrome, geochronology data, we think the dynamic porphyry, porphyry system belong to the post-subduction porphyry. And then based on uh, the middle chemistry data, especially uh, you know, trace in zircons, you know, we think you know, there is great potential, potential for uh, porphyry mineralization in the dynamic. And for the future exploration, we recommend, you know, the export need, you know, pay attention to the porphyritic uh, dike and applied with age around, you know, for 80 to for 60, 60 million years. And high, high log, you know, high, high quality log, log, log logging are highly recommended because those applied and the dikes are easily you know, 
destructed, destructed by later storm, you know, muscoite, pyrite, cause alteration. And the third is we need to, you know, provide you know, gold asset in the future exploration because, you know, such data didn't, you know, didn't, you know, uh, found in the previous open file, you know, exploration report. So I stop here. Thank you very much.